Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're the Crew Reviews. I'm Mikkel. I'm David. And I'm Melissa. And we're here to watch the third episode of season three of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What happened last time? Well, we had a really interesting episode with all these... This mask that yeah. turned dead people and animals into zombie-like creatures. <laughs> it's, like yeah. a, it's like an apocalypse within Buffy. Yeah, just a Sunnydale apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> typical. But th- th- that's almost every episode. <laughs> True. Like, it's, just, it's just confined to Sunnydale all the time. <laughs> For some reason. How do all these mystical it's objects... It's the Hellmouth, right? I know, but is it like, do they want to go there on purpose? <laughs> yeah, Or right? do they just happen to like, end up there? It was a couple episodes ago, I actually talked about that. I was like, you know, if, if they took the population of Sunnydale and moved it out, they'd be like, this is fucking boring. <laughs> and, they, and if they got some new people in, they'd be scared. You know, <laughs> so scared. But like, they must have like a huge number of deaths every yeah, month. Yeah. Just because of these... Things that just happen, yeah. like <laughs> people rising up in their bed suddenly in the hospital and killing staff. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like every episode, people die. Yeah, no, actually, I was editing episode two, yeah. right? I noticed in the hospital scene, yeah, the, in the reflection, you can see the guy snapping the neck of the nurse or something. Oh, so they do really like snapping necks. Yeah, that the, um, the woman, a uh, cat, when she had the mask on, mask on, she also snapped the neck. I think. Oh, someone definitely just snapped a neck of someone. Uh, oh, I think it's down, yeah. uh, no, it down was the ground floor. It was the buddy guy. Yeah. Yeah, but she, <laughs> I mean, she got when I mean, she got the mask on, got hella scared. All of the, you know, the, Sco- the Scooby Gang. <laughs> yeah. But but they figured it out in the end, as usual. I mean, Buffy didn't even need Alice's help. She just went for the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Um, you know, awkward moments I'm not very good at, you know, because it's kind of like, you know. So I was, I was kind of happy for zombie apocalypse instead of them, you know, standing there and having <laughs> a fight in the middle of the living room. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll jump right into episode three. Remember, you can find these Buffy reactions every Tuesday and Friday over on Patreon as, as full-length reactions or here on YouTube as just a 10-minute version at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll jump right into the reaction now. We can go off campus now for lunch. It's no longer <laughs> cutting. It's legal. Heck, it's expected. Wow, it's a, also a big step forward. A senior moment. One that has to be savored. You can't just rush into this, you know? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> you can. We're seeing Snideman tomorrow. Ooh, Scott Hope at 11 o'clock. He likes you. He wanted to ask you out last year, but you weren't ready then. But I think you're ready now. Or at least in the state of pre-readiness to make conversation. And at least a bag of town. I think that would very well. Don't you think that would very well? <laughs> he didn't try to slit our throats or anything. It's progress. Hey, did you do that little half smile thing? Welcome to Happy Burger. May I take your order, please? Diet soda. Medium. That'll be 89 cents at the window, sir. Like Mayberry. And ain't nobody saying boo about it. We can fit right in here. Have us some fun. We're here for one thing. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. oh God. He got turned on by that speech. He just told him to have a good day. Isn't it curious that he was riding the limousine for the other guy, but he's still also a vampire? I guess. Hmm. Same last time too. There's two of this girl, I think. Oh God, Angel! Go to hell! <laughs> I did. And you provide in writing. One glowing letter of recommendation from any member of our faculty who is not an English librarian. <laughs> Three, that you complete an interview with our school psychologist. Because the school board overruled you. Wow. <laughs> Trying to rub it That's in his like face. having your whole ability to do this job called into question when you think about it. <laughs> I think what my daughter's trying to say is. Thank you. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, God! <laughs> I trust you remember the demon of Cutler. Giles, contain yourself. Yes, I'm back in school, but you know how it embarrasses me when you gush, so 
Let's just skip all that and get straight to work. But, uh, well, there's a litany that, that one has to recite in Aramaic. It's very specific, so I need to get a few details about your experience of defeating a Kethla and Angel. Hi, Scott. Scott. What are you doing here? You told me if I came after eight, I could run into Buffy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm a bad liar. It's not good for the soul. Or, or, or the skin actually makes me blotch. Oh, wait. Could that have been a guy in the car? I don't think that guy thrives on sunshine. Stop struggling. This won't hurt. Oh! What, what the hell? Too clear. Okay, I got it. You're a uh, Buffy, right? <gasps> then after she died, she must have become yeah. a new player. Thanks, B. Couldn't have done it without you. Slam just always makes you hungry and horny. Well, yeah. sometimes I, I crave a non fat yogurt afterwards. You know, she was told by someone, you're just like, we saw that in the So if they know that Not there's the two. Horny thing, yuck. But the two slayer thing. So what about you? What was your toughest skill? Oh no. Uh -huh. You and I are gonna have fun, you know? Watch your list and fancy free. Watch your list? Didn't yours go to England too? Mm -hmm. There's a watchers retreat every year in the Cotswolds. It's a lovely spot. It's very serene. Fortuitous that Faith arrived when she did. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. I just meant, aha! Uh -huh. There's big evil brewing. You'll never be bored here, Faith. So this is Sunnydale, home of the big brew and evil. Dying to meet the fam. I'm in. Great. Great. Then we can patrol. I'll sew together. Hey, don't you have that health science makeup? You know, physical location. A Catholic was facing south. Mm-hmm. Catholic, Angel, me, sword. And they say young people don't learn anything in high school nowadays, but um, I've learned to be afraid. Who <laughs> died in there? That's for a hoot and a half. I mean, if I'd had friends like you in high Hootin school, I probably still would have dropped out, but I might have been soft about it, you know. She said hoot and a half. Oh. Like I said, last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Seems Wound kind of tight, needs to find the fun a little, like you two. Well, um, she. Oh, water. Huh? Oh, and any alligator story. <laughs> oh my god. She's got something, doesn't she? Hey, Buffy, uh, Faith has been telling me tall tales. She's funny, and she's leaving. We have to go. Oh, bye. He's a cutie. Has he seen anybody? She's not that safe for what she did to me. Yeah, she is. That's why they're after Slayer. It's not Buffy. It's the other check one. Check on every hotel, rooming mm. house, and youth house in town. Do you I like know. it? I was kind of. Oh, I love it. Uh, Mom. Doubt. Just a second, honey. You know, Buffy never talks that way. I think it would be. Mom, fun. the only way you get a new Slayer is when the old Slayer dies. And that oh. needs you. Yep. When did you die? You never told me you died. <laughs> it was just for a few minutes. Oh, I hate this. Oh, well, just. Oh. Mom. I... You've been doing this the longest. I have. Yeah, maybe a little too long. Excuse me? Wow. You think you can take me? Yeah. I just hope they can't. <laughs> Faith, take him already and give me a hand. This is me, you dead bastard. I work against those we live. You'll die. Doing violence to vampires upsets you. I think you're in the wrong line of work. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you like it a little too much. Oh, the one that nearly bit me mentioned something about kissing toast. He lived <laughs> for kissing toast. Do you mean kakistos? Maybe it was taquitos. <laughs> maybe he lived for taquitos. What? Kakistos. It's entirely possible that they both arrived here by chance simultaneously. Okay, but I was right about the leprechauns, right? As far as I know. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I don't think I've given a fair chance to Buster Keaton. <laughs> I I like what I've seen of him so far. I I think it might be time to see a little more. Do you, you like? Oh wait. Oh no. I can't. I I I can't do this. What do you know about Kakistos? That he's here. But that's not the guy with the weird eye. 
I'm sure it's not him. He just said what his hands and it's his hands and feet were so old they were beginning to decay. Yeah. yeah, that's why it was black. Like you took care of your watcher. Oh. Ooh. He killed her, didn't he? We don't have a word for what he did to her. He's a vampire with a oh, thing for vengeance. Yeah, it's just a no, I just bought a little more time. Oh. He's got such a huge hand. And I saw what he did to her. What he was gonna do to me. I tried to stop him, but I I couldn't. And I ran. First rule of slang. Don't die. You did the right thing, okay? You didn't die. Hey! Don't Oh, how did she not die from that? Yeah, it's, it must. It almost looked like she hit before as well. Oh God! Oh, that's a pretty big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> she had a lot to deal with, but she did it. She got it behind her. I'm glad to hear it. Angel was cured. He just told me. Um, but it, it was, it was too late and I, I had to. So I, I told him that I loved him. And I kissed him. And I killed him. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that they, they didn't know. Yeah. Obviously we knew. All they knew was that she killed Angel and saved the world. Yeah. I mean, that makes a little more sense as to why they were so harsh on her last episode, right? Yeah. There was someone a while ago, and uh, the ring sort of confused me. But I liked what you said about friendship. I liked it a lot. And Buster Keaton, big I'm really going to have to think about this. <laughs> okay, you know what? I thought about it, and I'm in. When do you want to go? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I have one thing that I have to do tonight, and, and I'm good. Oh, he's back. How? What Jaws do? <laughs> it's love. Is it so? It's her love, the ring. He's back. You talk about this? How? No. How did the Can ring bring him back? I don't know. Is it because it's like true love and stuff like that? No. No, sure. there's the other guy as well. Now see, that's a problem, but... No, but what I don't get is, like, Giles, he said, there's no spell to do now, as in, as in like, because it has changed the situation. No, did it. Yeah, but I'm just, like, what what Giles mean? Because no, no, I'm even more confused than if, I was if, before. If Angel had, was bad, right? Yeah. What, what the uh, the ceiling do? Just make sure he he didn't come back. I don't know. And because they didn't maybe, seal it, maybe he wasn't just... afraid of him coming back. Oh, I don't know. It might be that. Oh, that might be it. Because if he's good, then yeah. he could just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. That didn't take long for him to come back. Yeah, right? <laughs> he just... Oh my god. I can't believe they already brought You know, back. obviously I hope she fails at what what she was trying to do when she put the ring down and trying yeah. to let him go. I was going to show like, why did you stab me? <laughs> yeah, no, she, he knew. He knew. He had, he had a little bit of... Like, he didn't have any, like established memories but you could just tell it was just telling someone knows yeah that that's that not good yeah. Yeah. or he turns for evil now no no <laughs> because he was that no 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 I, i'm not talking about you know him being turned evil i just talk about him him the good him being evil no, no. <laughs> that doesn't really not seem like evil no it doesn't but you never know what held it to him? Uh, eternal, well, not exactly eternal torment now, just 
<laughs> temporary <laughs> torment. Yeah, but it might be like the thing with the demon where Please. we had time go moving quicker. Well, yeah. You could have been away for like a thousand years and we wouldn't mm, know. Yeah. He's good now. You probably and naked. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't. I don't know what what the whole thing with Jaws was. You know, either it's just that it didn't mean anything. You know, or that he but was worried evil angel will come back, and that's why he tried to seal it. But now that he knew he was good, he wasn't going to worry. But there was a lot of talk, right, about this thing. You know, there's no way out. Yeah. So Aww. if like it must it surely it changed something. Yeah. So th- otherwise, he'd just not be working on the seal. On the ceiling of it, right? Yeah. A- a- and because he was returned to normal, like what did that change? It must have been that it was okay for him to like try and come back, I guess, because he was not bad anymore. Yeah, I guess. That's the only thing I can like put together in my head that makes sense. But do you think Giles trying to do it? Like he 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 told the crew this episode that he'd already tried a couple times and you know continually on doing so. Yeah. Right. Do you think that blocked Angel? And then when he didn't try anymore, Maybe. he didn't block him. It was the love that sent him back. Yeah, but it would still be the love. Yeah. But you couldn't. He couldn't. You know, get through the love hole if. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. But, <laughs> but he he wouldn't go through that. If he, if he was trying to be blocked by someone yeah, else. Yeah, it was the love when she put down the ring was like, I'm letting you go. I don't hit the table. It's oh. not for the microphone. But that's it. Yeah. Sure of it. Yeah, but, but then, uh, you know, what, you know, some, something must have happened with Giles t- talking about, yeah. oh, the ceiling doesn't matter anymore. So he was probably blocking Angel from returning. So if he'd continued to block him, he probably wouldn't have gotten through. Maybe. Like I see that as unlikely because of what Jao said. Like it must have meant something. What he did must have meant something. Yeah. What he was trying to do must have meant something. He, he's not he doing anything. Just say there is no spell without a reason. He's Giles. He has a reason for everything. Yeah. So he was trying to do something, but we can't quite figure out why he was trying to seal it. Yeah. And now he's just like, okay, I'm not going to seal it. The only thing I can think of is he's trying to seal it, not to get Angel back because he thinks Angel's bad. And when he doesn't think Angel's bad anymore, he's not trying to block him. That must be it. Yeah. That I don't must think be it. blocked him. Yeah, because he, he had already uttered a lot of words, he said, and tried yeah. a lot of stuff. But I don't think he ever blocked him because it didn't work. So it wasn't blocked. Well, he didn't know if it worked. Oh, that's true. He had no idea. He was like, I don't know if this is, this is working. I need more details. Man, that's weird. But it could have been a combination of that and then that she put the ring down at her his death spot and he was like getting a better connection of trying to return through her and through the ring. Maybe it didn't matter because he was trying to seal his bad side. Who? Angel's bad side. If he was trying to trap that. Yeah. But he doesn't have that anymore. Yeah, but he didn't know he didn't have that anymore. Yeah. So, so that's why it doesn't matter. Oh, but I'm talking about like him. He he tried to seal like the the yeah, uh, portal portal yeah. to hell, and then if if um, I think that combined with the the whole ring, I think that gave Angel the strength to go through that portal. Yeah, it's kind of my theory. I hope he's the only one going through that. Did anyone else fall into it? No one else was sucked in, but Angel. Yeah. Yeah, but just from past. Well, yeah. Satan just suddenly shoves up in Sunnydale. Well, Buffy versus Satan. Almost wouldn't be a first. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, well, I'm happy he's back. Yeah. Ending the episode on a happy note. Yeah. Yeah. It almost kind of felt like this episode felt a little weird. Like a little off. Like, you know, I, I know they just off do this often, but like getting this whole new Slayer in. Yeah. And then kind of make it all come to an end in one episode. Maybe it was like we'll an arc. Next episode. Yeah, she Unless might. She's we did back. see Kendra a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, we did. But it was it's kind of like I don't know if it fit into the story at this moment to do that. 
you know, I, when I'm thinking of this episode, I've, I, I don't think of the whole angel thing combined with the new Slayer thing. I feel, I feel like it's two separate, like, things we're trying to do at once. Yeah. yeah like, but, and that could, that could work sometimes. But it was because of the new Slayer that she was ready to let him go. Yeah. I was going to talk about, like, you know, I think she gave Scott a chance because she kind of saw yeah. everything slipping right yeah. through her fingers. Because she was like, well, if I don't, you know, I have to take my chances. Because otherwise this girl, and there's going to be probably more in general, like girls at yeah. my schools get, getting and all the fun. because Faith was, when she was talking about Faith, doing the right thing in the end. Yeah. And just getting over her fears. She did that too. Moved on from Angel. That's oh. why she was ready to move on. You know, obviously they're trying to insinuate that, you know, her putting down the ring is the final stop that we talked about. How she's probably not gonna stop, <laughs> right? Oh, she isn't. Yeah, so that's kind of what I feel like is off, because you know, if he did, if he didn't come back, I, I still think she would have not moved on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, she can't control her dreams and everything, um, which is why it's kind of so hard to move on. <laughs> I just hope Angel wasn't angry at her. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, just the look he had. David. Yeah. He's the actor called David. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is true. David Brennan's. The, 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 the look the actor had uh, when he was sucked into that is so good because I just feel like that image says more than a thousand words. Yeah. Yeah. He looked so scared when he came back. Yeah. Like he just. He looked terrified. He just had eternal. Like, like he'd been tormented. Yeah. I don't. You know, like. It's very philosophical, I guess, but, you know, just in general, when you're talking about hell and stuff like that, you know, I, I kind of, you know, picture it as, like, eternal pain, but not as, you know, in the same way we would, like, if I slapped you, you'd feel pain. Yeah. Like, I don't feel, you know, that wouldn't be eternal pain. No. It's, like, constant rate, eternal pain all over the place, like a magic yeah. thing almost. Yeah. Which is so much worse. <laughs> yeah. I burned alive a thousand times. Yeah, your flesh, yeah. you know, you're Targaryen. Same time, <laughs> can't burn. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was it for this episode. Yeah. If you want to check in next time, please do so. Yeah, and I guess you know we can't really ask a poll question because they already know what's happened. But otherwise, I would have said, "What do you think happened with the whole thing?" But please don't tell us. <laughs> See you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.